What's up everybody, Lucas here, spamming you with yet another backflip video. You can never have too many backflip videos. In this video, I am going to teach you guys how to learn the backflip inside of your house using 10 hacks that'll help you get over the backflip fear, get used to turning backwards, so that you can learn the backflip inside your house, no need to go outside or a gymnastic center. But you gotta focus. So do you dare with the living room chair Basically, feel this one out first. So you're gonna reverse straddle your chair. You wanna have your head right at about the end of where the seat ends, okay? Then you're going to, boom. Good. Once you figure that out, commit to this one completely. Get to the end, make sure it's about waist high, and just commit. Be sure to lean back. As you can see, it started to tip this way. All right, home slice, moving on the two chair tosser. Very similar to the Siberian casserole and the hay bale hack, okay? Just make sure you got two identical-ish chairs um, with arms, you know, anywhere from knee high to waist high. The more comfortable the chair, the better this feels. You're going to put your arms out like this and make sure you got enough room for your head and your shoulders to rotate through. Get into the back foot position, palms facing up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna thrust your hips, you're gonna kick your feet, and bring your body around. <laughs> Basically, the chair guides you through the entire backflip and you will not crack on your head because your arms are holding you above the ground. This really helps you get used to going upside down and used to the full motion of the backflip. I don't know why other people don't talk about this. Because it's not approved. Depending on your height, you either want to choose the bottom stair or the second to bottom stair. And if you're a super freak of nature, maybe the, maybe the third one. The stair scare. Now this looks absolutely ridiculous, but I'm telling you right now, there's something called mental priming. I made that up right now, but what I'm talking about is getting yourself over the fear through repetition. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trick the body by basically putting the feet over the head to the ground multiple times in basically a minute. Basically you wanna kinda get into the reverse chair position. Now this is gonna come together when you put your head on that last stair. I know this looks absolutely ridiculous. What you can do is you can put one hand out at the bottom of the ground. Throw yourself like this, then back up. Then like this, back up. Forgive me, I need to make my bed, okay? But it's perfect for this video. I call this one the up on the mattress makaku. On a standard makaku, what you do is you use your hand, you put it down to the ground. But because the mattress is elevated, we're gonna just use our elbow. You're gonna actually get in front of the mattress like this, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna put one elbow to the side, you're gonna throw it back on the mattress. And then your idea is to swing around to the mattress up on top like this. Elbow, boom. And you can get a little bit more aggressive with it as time goes on. This will absolutely help you learn the backflip on the ground. All right, it'll help you learn the makaku on the ground by giving you that similar motion, but you can practice it way more because the mattress is so soft. All right, moving on. The hack flip to fish flop, all right? Basically, we're evolving that elbow makaku onto the mattress, but you're gonna do a hack flip, which means over that comfortable side. So if I put my left elbow out as my makaku hand, you're gonna be jumping over the left side and landing on the stomach doing the belly flop, the fish flop. <laughs> okay, ready? That'll get you extremely used to throwing yourself backwards. All right, moving on. Makaku onto the mattress. Thumbs up, Fred. Keep up the hard work, bro. Right, we're gonna put the mattress on the floor now. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do more of a makaku onto the mattress. So just like going to the elevated mattress, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our hand now, okay? So instead of doing the elbow over like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand up a little more and you're gonna try to throw your hand up over. So it's a makaku onto the mattress. In the previous hack, that shoulder you chose to go over, for me, that's my left shoulder, that's the arm you're gonna use for this as well. All right, next, the mattress Medusa. Why Medusa? Because Medusa is a villain from The Little Mermaid. It's exactly like the flop onto the elevator mattress, but now the mattress is lower, so we're actually gonna be standing up a little bit higher. You're gonna be doing a hack flip over the shoulder, but this time, you're not gonna be touching the hand down on the macaco. You're gonna be flopping over and landing on the mattress. Like this, watch, ready? Don't hit the fan, ready? It works really well, and it gets you used to going upside down backwards. Yeah. Next, we're basically gonna be evolving the mattress Medusa into a mattress hack flip, and you're gonna try to land this, okay? First on your knees, and then you're gonna try to land on your feet, and always spot it with your arms, okay? Oh, sweet.
you're ready to go. Now just using those hacks in order, you should get over the fear of doing the backflip and learn how to do the backflip inside of the house. I do have a few extra ones for those of you who might need a few more. I call this one the teepee for Mimi. So you just build a little teepee here that can easily collapse. When you jump over it, it's gonna give you that little bit of edge that you need to help flip your body back over. It's gonna be like a little guide, okay? The rocket launcher. Okay, forget that one. So you can do a few hack loops inside, a few makakos inside to get used to it. You're gonna jump up over that shoulder, okay? If you're still afraid about going completely upside down. Same feeling as just like you're landing on the mattress, but this time you're gonna be landing either on the carpet or the hardwood floor. So be careful. So jump up, tuck around, you spot, you land. Just like the feeling that you developed from doing all of these previous exercises, especially when it came to the end, doing the hack flip onto the mattress. Be careful when you practice inside, but you can learn inside, no excuses. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope this video helps you all out. Let me know what you think and if you'd like to see more hack videos, don't forget to subscribe, more videos coming. If you guys are looking to get in shape or looking to stay in shape throughout these cold winter months, check out my 12 week calisthenics program, Bodyweight Beast. That's bodyweight only training. 12 weeks. Thank you for the feedback on this program so far. Onlykindsfitness.com. Peace. I'll see you all in the next video. Lazy boy. Ouch. The dryer fryer. You're gonna go inside of your dryer. What you're gonna do is you're gonna sit so you're against the spin, turn it on, and you're gonna get used to going backwards multiple times. I'm just joking, do not do this one.